Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to handle events in JavaScript. To handle events in JavaScript, we take help of inline JavaScript or embedded JavaScript or external JavaScript. Let's have a demo and understand everything clearly step by step. I minimize it. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to handling events in JS. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to handling events in JS. I go to body section. Inside that I say input type is equal to button and then I say here value wish high. If I save this, we get a button here. I reload. We get a button with text wish high guys. Now what I want, if I click on this wish high button, I want an alert box saying high. If I click on this, I should get an alert box saying high. How do we do that? We take help of, as I told, either inline JavaScript or embedded JavaScript or external JavaScript. In inline JavaScript, what we do? Here we add an event on click. On click is a mouse event, guys. It is triggered when we click on that button, guys. There are many mouse events we have. On click, on db click, on db click means on double click, on mouse over, on mouse out, etc. We have keyboard events like on key down, on key up. We have browser events, we have form events, we have image events, we have so many events, guys. Here I am taking help of on click event. On click of this button, what should happen? Here we write the JavaScript code directly inside the HTML tag. That's the reason it's called as inline JavaScript guys. Here I say alert. I am calling the alert function which is a JavaScript function. Inside single quotations, I put the text high. On click, alert function should be executed guys. If I save this, go to browser and reload. Now what happens if I click on wish high? We get the alert box saying hi guys. If I click on this, we get an alert box saying hi. So this is called inline JavaScript. In inline JavaScript, we write the JavaScript code directly in the HTML tag. Now I go back and remove this event. Okay, I save it, go to browser and reload. If I click on this, nothing happens. We don't get the alert box because we have removed the event and the code. Let's understand how do we get that alert box saying hi using embedded JavaScript. What we do is we write here opening script tag and closing script tag. And then I say here type is equal to text or JavaScript. Inside this, I am going to say function wish high bracket bracket opening floor bracket closing floor bracket inside the wish high function i call the alert function with the text high guys this function should be executed when we click on this button for that again i use the event on click in double quotations i am going to say wish high now i am telling when i click on this button wish high function from javascript should be executed if i save this go to browser and reload if i click on wish high button we get the alert box saying hi i say okay i click again on wish high we get the alert box saying hi if i click on this we get the alert box saying hi so this is called embedded javascript where we are creating a function inside the script tag and then we are executing this function on the event trigger right on click is the event guys when the event is triggered a function that we are calling here is called event handler a function which handles the event is called event handler guys now we have seen how we can display alert high using inline javascript as well as embedded javascript let's do the same thing with the help of external javascript I am going to delete this code. I remove this event. I save it. Go to browser and reload. 
if i click on this nothing is happening you can see that i am clicking i am not getting the alert box because we removed the code for external javascript what we do we create one new javascript file guys i say here notepad in this file i am going to create function saying wish high bracket bracket opening closing flower bracket inside that i call the alert function with the text high now i'm going to save it file save as i save the file at the desktop with the name scripts.js scripts.js both sides i put double quotations and save so i have an external javascript file right you can see at the desktop we have a javascript file called scripts in this script file we have wish high function which i want to execute when i click on this button how do we do that first we add that javascript file to our html page guys using the script tag i say here opening script tag and closing script tag and then i tell use this source file called scripts.js file and then i say here type equal to text or javascript so this code adds this file to our html document it adds that complete code from this file to our html document guys now i say here on click when i click on this button you should call wish high function wish high function from javascript if i save this go to browser and reload if i click on the wish high button we get the alert box saying hi if i click on this again we get the alert box saying hi so like this we can handle events in javascript using either inline javascript or embedded javascript or external javascript in inline javascript we add the javascript code directly in the html element whereas in embedded javascript we create a function inside the script tag and then we execute that function on a specific event trigger guys whereas in external javascript we create a separate javascript file with the function we execute that function on the event trigger before that we must and should include we must and should add the script file to our html page using script src attribute i hope you guys have clearly understood i suggest you people to try whatever i explained yourself and experiment if you try and experiment you get more clear idea guys in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about handling events in javascript if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial